Beep. Oh, and we should probably start that one, though. Yeah, geez, Jay, start that one, too. Well, Bing. Okay, the sound. Oh, why did I say Bing? That's a Microsoft thing. Whoa. Uh, uh, Bing and Apple products. Are you comfortable? No. 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 I'm never comfortable. Be comfortable. You what, can put your feet up. What is this? Here, hold on. Can I put my feet up? <laughs> uh, the box. Here it is. The box. Okay, I'm gonna put my feet on that. Are you comfortable? I no. feel like you were scared of it breaking. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna collapse. I have heavy feet. Well, you're fine. Because the boots. <laughs> well, I have big feet. The boots don't help. You know, say about big feet. Big socks. Okay. All right, let's start this already. No. <laughs> Off to a great oh start. God, no. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, what's your name? Is that really a question on yeah, here? Yeah, it, it like, it's not on this, but like it's a general thing. Like your name. Oh, like, okay. What's your name? Is how old are you? Okay. Zach Colbert, sixteen years of age. <laughs> would sure you, both the cameras get? Would here. you repeat it for this one, please? Okay, Zach Colbert, sixteen years of age. All right. Looks like we're. Good. We're covered. <laughs> okay. Just letting you know, you're going to have to repeat it for this camera and that camera. Oh, no. I'm joking. Okay. So. I feel like I'm addressing audiences on all sides. Well, you're good in the back. Okay. As long as there's not a hidden camera back there. You're good, I think. Unless Barton's doing I bet Barton did that. Barton. Yeah. yeah all right. Funny. So you know why you're here. Um, we sure. Talk, we talked about this earlier when, yes. you know, we talked about Phase of Tap. You want to talk about your dad and you were kind of hesitant. Yeah. Will you just tell me why you were hesitant? I'm hesitant to talk about anything. Why? Because I, I, I don't know. Yeah, you have to, uh, you have to give me <laughs> details. Yeah, or, yeah, you can't uh, make, I don't know. So vague. So vague. This is going to be the easiest story for you to write. Zach doesn't Zach's, know anything. Zach doesn't know anything. And then he by JKC. could not answer any of the interview questions. Therefore, we gave up by JKC. <laughs> I see. That's why yeah. face of death. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just kind of a. I, I don't want to say personal thing. Like I'm trying to keep it private. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I don't know. I feel you can't like, say that. <laughs> frankly, I feel like it's not that big of a deal. Okay. I mean, I know that it, it you know, tends to be something that comes up a lot. And I try to, you know, leave it and move on. Um, you know, yeah. It's just something I don't feel like I should be drawing a lot of attention. Interviewed to. about. Really? Yeah. So should we just stop now? I don't know. <laughs> That's up to you. Well, I'm just gonna throw in the towel. This is a I'll, good test. I'll go, drive. I'll go through with it. But okay. Well, this is how this goes. Then. Okay. If it doesn't work out, I will guess I won't be writing for Facebook Tap this year. <laughs> That's kind of sad. Yeah, a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna start. I'm sure we can find you another troubled person. It's too. There's a, a pile to pick from. Yeah, there is. Oh my gosh, Tap. Oh my. This is Oregon. This is Oregon. Oh my. Okay. So first question: How would you describe um, the relationship between you and your father? Would you like shaky or strong? Um. It varies. A on lot. What? On what? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> I've been asking that question for a long time. Your whole life. Um, I don't know. It just seems to change a lot unexpectedly. And I don't, I don't know why. That's one of, one of the things I've always tried to figure out. So like, you, like you either like, sometimes you might just get along and sometimes you just might not? Yeah. Pretty much. And there aren't any like variables you can depend on to affect those. Not, yeah, not that I've been able to, you know, determine. Mm -hmm. you know, I try to, I try to go th about things reasonably. You know, I try to reason things out and, and make decisions based on everything I know. And a lot of the time with my dad, that just doesn't seem to work, which is surprising because. People tell me I'm a lot like him. I don't really see <laughs> Which bugs the crap out of me. <laughs> yeah. um, 
but you know they tell me I'm a, a lot like him, which makes me think you know he should appreciate the fact that I'm trying to reason things out and, and go about things logically, and then yes. it just doesn't happen. And I've been able to establish how he thinks. It it doesn't make sense. So when you guys get into kind of like conundrums, are they like? I'm sorry, I like that word. Are they like? <laughs> Were they kind of like big, like exaggerated, or kind of just like, you know, to the point it was over really quick? Like, do you guys hold grudges? Or? Um, that's a tough one. When, when we get into, you know, arguments over things, that varies a lot too, actually, <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. Sometimes it'll get, you know, really big and really heated, and... I'll be sitting there trying to reason things out, and of course, you know, it's an argument and, and we're shouting at each other or whatever, and so you know, it's not easy to be completely reasonable yeah, in can. those situations. Um, but, you know, I'm sitting there, I'm trying to reason things out and, and just feel like I'm being attacked or like he's just shooting down everything I say yeah. or disregarding everything I say. It's because you're like the kid. Um, Exactly. He, he's, you know, he's older than me. He's more experienced than me. He knows everything. He's, which tends to be the view of a lot of teenagers. But, you know, in his case, yeah, he, he seems to think that he's right all the time. And it's not always nice. He, yeah, he, I mean, he tends to be right a lot of the time. I'll, I'll grant that. But not always. there are times when he's not right. You know. And he doesn't give you the credit that you on being right. Yeah. But on the other hand, there are other times where we get into an argument and I say this, he's right, it's over. We're done. And then I just don't talk to him for the rest of the day or something and then the next morning we start over again. And on something else or the same thing? No, we just, it's gone. The subject is, you know, whatever we were arguing about doesn't matter anymore we're up in the morning and he's like, good morning, and he's making breakfast, and he finishes making breakfast, and I go make my breakfast, and and that's that. And he's kind of was like, oh, hey, how's your day going so far? Yeah, and basically. Like, kind of looks like a clean slate. Uh -huh. okay. So there aren't any, like, grudges, really? Not really. Um, there have been a few occasions uh, with something that, that really didn't go over well, where there's been, you know, a period of a few I don't know how you're going to write that out in a quote. Uh, yeah. So, like, basically, like, okay, so let me put this in a sense where I might be able to find words to describe okay. this. So, like, okay, so I, my question was about grudges. So, over the right. course, of, of course of a few days, yeah. that subject just keeps coming up. It's not dropped. It keeps... Um, not I mean, necessarily keeps coming up, mm -hmm. but it's the only thing that comes to mind when we are in the same room. So, like, is there, like, a tension there? Yeah. I mean, we don't... It's not verbal. We just don't talk about anything because we know it's going to come back to that and yeah. then we're just going to rip each other's heads off. So over the course of days, it's just... Uh, 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 kind of with a ripping off the head motion. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is such a good thing to so You know, you can put that in stars, ripping off head motion. <laughs> I'm definitely going to put that in my essay. My essay is going to be kind of sarcastic, I feel like. I just did an essay. I'm an article. Essay about that cold. Yes. Oh. Very scholarly. MLA subject. format. <laughs> Sites. <laughs> Work cited. Zach Eric Colbert, comma Zach. Period. And that's it. <laughs> NP. ND. And there is no. Well, there's a date access and everything. There's a date access, but no. there's no uh, no publication. Date. No. Yep. You're not formal enough for me. No, sorry. Okay. All right. So. We kind of just, we kind of just, you know, briefly talked about the relationship between you and your father. Yes. I just kind of skimmed it. I feel like you didn't want to go, like, too deep into it. Yeah. But you gave me, like, the, basically the outline of how it is. Yeah. To the point where I can understand, like, how sometimes, like, your mood. Draw more questions. It. I'm getting there. Okay. Okay, but basically. <laughs> I, no, no, no. I, I mean, I'm saying, like, I, I went around the outside of it. Yeah. You didn't, like, really get to the hardcore center. But yeah. basically. So, so now that you know that, you're yeah. going to. 
ask more often. Make more questions. Yes. Okay. Hopefully, dig deeper. I'm just making sure. Yeah. Journey yeah. to the center. That's what I'm saying. Earth. More specific questions are going to be All right. Well, lot. how has the relationship changed over the years? Like, from like when you were little to now? Um. Like, do you think, like, with your age and, like, responsibilities that it has changed? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think when, when I was little, I didn't, you know, hang out with a lot of people. I mean, there, there are a lot of people I know who, you know, they have a friend who they've known since they were, like, two years old, and they're always, you know, at each other's houses, having dinner with each other's families, mm. doing, you know, everything together. And... I don't really have anybody like that. I mean, I've known you for ten years. longer than a lot of people, but yeah, we're not accompanying each other's houses I don't, and things you know, together. It's not like I hang out with you ever anywhere else, I know. and I don't do that with anybody else either. I think it's like we're both so busy. But yeah, that that has something to do. With it. You're but, so busy. But you know, I think one of the one of the roots of that was my dad didn't have a lot of friends with kids. When I was little, and so you know, I didn't have, you know, when my dad was hanging out with his friend, I didn't have his friend's kids to hang out with or anything. That's really sad. I like, was just hanging out with my dad's friends, who were all, you know, old people. I feel like that's why you're so mature. Yeah, I I can, I I would say that's a, a reasonable thing to say. I'm like sure there's a better word well, there. Well, yeah, <laughs> but I feel like you grew up too soon. I, I think that contributed a lot. Um, you know, hanging out with, uh, you know, being around all these adults when I was little, you know, I just, that was the way things worked. And I didn't, I don't want to say I didn't know how to be a kid, because <laughs> that's, that's exaggerating. How do childhood... <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. Um, How do? Still, still a little, a little bit of an exaggeration, though. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I, I like you were a kid. Like I remember school. Like you were fine at school. Yeah, I mean, I, I played like a kid. Just well, played by myself. That's really sad. Well, as long as it wasn't playing, I'm not, I'm not gonna say that. You know what I was gonna say. I know what you're gonna say. Don't quote that. Oh yeah, exactly. No. Like, all caps. No, please. <laughs> All caps. Fill don't in the turn, blank. Don't turn me into Seth Skier. Did you see that that article about Seth Skier? No. Oh my god. Tell me about it. Was it, in, it was in. I'm gonna tell you about it now because yeah. I won't okay. remember. Okay. Uh, um, there was an article in the News Guard about Seth Skier. He was voted like number one or number two something football position in the state. Mm -hmm. um, and <laughs> they got some quotes from him that just sounded really bad. I got the ball a lot. I like to have holding the ball. And we read that and, and just... <laughs> oh my god. It was terrible. I like the ball. I liked holding the ball. The ball felt good in my hands. That's it. It's just like, wh what? <laughs> you know what you're saying here. I liked the ball very much. The ball and I are friends. <laughs> my ball, the ball and I are one of the same. Oh my gosh. That was a weird article. <laughs> hopefully, but anyway, we're hopefully this same. won't be the same. Yeah, this won't be a weird article. That's easy. Please. <laughs> no promises. Depending on what kind of what kind of raw material you give me, I'll work with what I have. I gotta watch what I say. No, this is fun. I feel like okay. we're being protective, right? Yeah, this is this is going better than I expected. Yeah, I feel like it's because we're just such good friends. We we can like uh, laugh about it. <laughs> what do you? <ch> <laughs> okay. Everybody else would be crying by this point. Yeah, I was. I remember that. Yeah. Susan saying such supportive things and then just leaving the room and me Susan and Smith. That's who I need. We need to get Susan Smith. We're in the elementary school. Come right. now. Susan, we need you. And just be like, well, I'm busy. No, now. She bought a Christmas tree the other day. Oh. I miss Susan. Oh, that was sweet. All right. I guess it's time for the next question then. Okay, yeah. All right. I feel like I was going to say something. 
Oh, my God. Now I can't remember what All right, it so the so question was, remember. how to change over the years? You were talking about, you know, oh, kids um, playing by yourself and not with yourself. <laughs> I have to say now it. I remember why we digressed. Yes, okay. okay. Um, playing by yourself. Yeah, playing by myself a lot. And, you know, I had some friends, like, um, I had these two friends who lived in Corvallis. Um, Chris and Tyler. I don't remember their last name. I don't think I ever learned their last name. Um, but they knew uh, one of my dad's friends uh, was their great aunt. And she lives in town, like somewhere mm -hmm. out of this area. So, you know, they would come to visit her occasionally, and, and you know, she'd give my dad a call and say, hey, Chris and Tyler are over here, you want to send Zach over, and they'll Hang out. do whatever. And yeah, we would. Those were the closest people I had to, you know, friends that I hung out with, except that was more like every, like, like twice a year. Oh. Um, but, you know, they were really cool, kind of. <laughs> Looking back. I mean, so when, so when, when they were really cool, they were really cool. Did they lose their cool over time? We had, we had time? lightsaber fights. Oh, my God. It was awesome. the best. <laughs> but other times they were kind of mean to me because I was a little kid. They were older than me. Oh, how old were they? Huh? How old were they compared to you? Um, I think Tyler two or three years older than me, and Chris is... For a second, I thought you'd be like, Chris was two or three, and I'm just like, how old were you with lightsaber? <laughs> and I was an infant. <laughs> I was still in the womb, and my mother was doing it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was sending telepathic impulses to my mother's brain, <laughs> and, and she was uh, on guard, <laughs> and she knew exactly what to do. With my had a, now that I'm looking back at it, it actually, um, they had a big, you know, sibling rivalry thing going on, because they, their age, you know, they were only like a year apart, yeah. so they were always, you know, competing with each other, and I think maybe now looking back at that, they kind of threw me into it. Uh, I was like the, the little, little brother who they were. Yeah. They get into something. They could they gang up on you. Exactly. Oh. Wait, did they beat you up? Well, no, they didn't beat beat me up physically, but like mentally, telepathically. Mentally, sometimes they just would, mind beating you. They up. would say a bunch of junk, and I not understand what they were saying, and they'd be like, mm. "Good laugh." Yeah. But like, anyway. you were hanging out with people who were older than you, but it, and it wasn't even that often. So like, you were kind of limited to socialism, kind of, in a way. Socialism? Well, I meant like socializing, <laughs> God. Socializing. Socializing, socialism. Yes, I've had a uh, limited <laughs> um, exposure to socialism since I was a kid. I feel like, I don't know if that's a good thing. I've, I've had more exposure to fascism. Stop it. Stop <laughs> making a joke about my word choice. Okay, I meant socializing. Okay, you were limited socializing. You were limited to like, you know, who you could hang out with right. and who it was you were hanging out with. And do you think that had any interest like not interest, but like in, any um in like <laughs> input on um the way effect. effect input on um how you grew up. I think so. Um, I think that may have been one thing that, that kept me from totally, you know, not becoming a kid. I don't know how to phrase that. I think, I think you know, that, that twice a year being able to hang out with kids that I knew um, I feel like this is a sad situation. Keep me from becoming an adult when I was like eight years old. Okay. That makes sense. I mean, people have still told me that, like, when I was. 
Mic on. Mic on.